Good afternoon. Uh, good morning, Year Two. Welcome to Friday's English video. It's the last one of the week, so let's make it a good one. Uh, so today, you are going to start with section one, which is your reading time again, and you're going to read the short poem Four Ducks on a Pond. I'm not going to read that to you because that's really, really, really easy to read. Okay, so you can read that. Then you're going to think about what ways is the poem like Sam's duck. So what similarities has it got? Then you're going to talk about, it says the poem says to remember with tears. Do you think he means happy or sad tears? Why? So you can answer that question. Then what could make him so happy about what he saw? What could make him so sad? Then section two. OK, again, if you want to do it, you can do it, but you don't have to. You're going to read the Night Cat poem. Now, again, I'm not going to read this to you because it's not that hard. There are some tricky words like mustn't, but I think you can have a go at that. OK. And then you're going to answer the question. In fact, I will read it to you, actually. So the Night Cat. She's there by the fence, but you mustn't call out like a scoop of night or a water shadow. Tense for flight. She'll twist and go. Don't open your mouth. The moon's so close that the stars blow out. You turn. She's gone, leaving that patch where the moon shone, leaving the empty dress of night with the stars picked out and you alone. So then you're going to answer the questions on the question sheet about the night cat. So question one says, which of the words below describe the cat in the poem? Is it bold, cautious, wary, boisterous, excited or timid? Question two, what colour do a scoop of night and a water shadow make you think of? Question three, why is it, why is that a very appropriate colour for this poem? Question four, Rhyming verse features sets of words at the end of lines that rhyme with one another and has a strong sing-song rhyme when you say it out loud. Free verse is poetry where there are no or very few rhymes and where the rhythm is not so regular. Which term best describes the night cat? Is it rhyming verse or free verse? Question five. The gap between you turn and she's gone on line 10 is not a mistake. The poem, the poet deliberately put it there. Why do you think she wanted a gap between those words? Question six. How does the person in the poem feel at the start of the poem? How do they feel at the end? And what has caused this change of their feelings? OK, part three. You're going to be writing further adventures of the night cat from the poem. So where do you think the night cat went after it vanished? What sort of things did it do? Who did it meet and play or fight with? You're going to write all about what the night cat might have got up to before dawn. So where did it go after the poem? This poem ends with she disappears. She's gone. OK, where did she go? What sort of things did she get up to? What adventures might she go on? You could write it as though you are the night cat. I did this and I did that. Or you could write it like the poem ha poet has about the night cat. The night cat went to the, make sure you in, uh, include your conjunctions, time phrases to let us know when it's happening. So soon, next, then, later that night, things like that. OK, and then you're going to write all about what the cat might have got up to. And then if you've got time at the end and you want to do some extra work, you could draw a picture and write about a time you met an animal somewhere. Was it a good or bad experience and why? OK. Good luck, year two. See you soon.